So, you want to know the truth about every door to Rick Miller's? You need to listen in, because I'm about to tell it like it is. <laughs> Welcome, fam. This is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers, Georgia. And I'm about to give you the scoop on Every Door Direct Miller just for me, for me, for me. I ain't talking about what somebody else can tell you or what's going on in their business. But in my business, I have spent close to eight grand for Every Door Direct. Every Door Direct. Yes, I spent about eight grand. And I've already received two of my flyers to me because I send them to me. I want the area in my area. That's right. Where I live, that's where I want them out. Now, I think like this. The only way you know about something, you got to try it yourself. So, please take this information with a grain of salt because until you try it yourself, you really won't know the results. But, please learn from my pain. My pain, your gain. So, reason why I say my pain, your gain, is because I am not happy with these Every Door Direct Millers. No, 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 I am not happy about it. And the reason why I'm not happy about it is because I can count to seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000, and I am not getting the returns like I thought I would. Now, it may still be early in the game, and we might pull it off in the fourth quarter. You know, don't know. So, let me tell you what's going down. So I got the two flyers right here. Boom, boom. They two different flyers. Got the promotions. They're looking good. They're very pro professional. You know how I do. But I'm not getting the phones to blow off the hook. Now, what I would say about that is I don't know. I can't explain it, nor do I want to explain it. But I have a theory. So I guess I can't explain it, huh? Well, let me explain it then. All right. I'm going to explain it like this. Number one, people don't like stuff in their mailbox. Hell, they hate going to the mailbox because most of it got bills in it anyway. So they take this stuff and throw it in the trash. That's my theory. Now, the reason why I say that is because you will not believe this, fam. I have a door hanger that I go around and I put on the mailboxes. And I know somebody about to say something about me putting stuff on mail. Man, you shouldn't be putting nothing on no mailbox, bro. You can go to jail, man. You know what I'm saying? You can do like, like 20, 20,000, 100 years, man. You put that stuff on the mail. Look, where I'm at, for me, they don't mess with me. Okay? You know, I could be doing worse things. And they ain't worrying about me putting no dog on, thinking of a jig on no mailbox. But I don't know what's going down in your your side of the world all right so let me get back on track so i found out putting my door hangers on the mailbox i'm getting more calls with the door hangers now i'm with my theory again here's my theory my theory is because they taking this they throwing it in the trash the same thing i do take it and throw it in the trash but if you take this and you put it on their mailbox with a rubber band, well, guess what they got to do? They first thing they're going to say, what in the world is that on my dog on mailbox? Ha, 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 ha. They're going to say, what is it? And then they're going to take 50 seconds to unravel the dog on thing. And they're going to look at it. Some dog won't lock care. Lock, lock, yeah. yeah, I can use this. some savings. You know what? This is all right. Very professional. Yes. They see it separate from the other clutter they got in their doggone mailbox, and they call you. That's my theory, and I believe I'm on point. Because you know why? It has been done. I have sent out, as of yet, uh, about 13,000 of these. Now, it's not 13,000 people, it's 6,500 people.
because they said, you know what? When you do every door direct mailer, you have to send it out multiple times for people to get it, you know, so-and-so, so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it might be true, but right now, they are not blowing me up, fam. Not at all. But my hangers are, and what's so cool about it, I have another theory. <laughs> my other theory is, it's the ice cream truck theory. You ever heard of the ice cream truck theory? Of course not. I just made it up. The ice cream truck theory is that simply when you was, or right now, you're not thinking about no ice cream. Probably don't want no ice cream. But let that ice cream truck come through your neighborhood. You may say to yourself, I want some ice cream. That's the same exact thing. The fact that I go through the neighborhoods while I'm putting these flyers out, it's the ice cream truck effect. I want one, there it is. So they see me already, which by the way, I'm saying to all y'all fam, you need to brand your truck, brand your trailer, put something on that mug. Just don't be going around, you got a blank, you know, unless you balling like, unless you getting it like that, I don't know. Well, you need it. Why would you be getting it like that if you don't have no brand? Put a brand on your truck. Now, for those people who just getting in the game and may not have the money, cool, I respect that. But the ones who going out buying mowers and stuff, man, bring your stuff and look professional. You know, I'm encouraging that. So that's the thing. The people that see me go through the neighborhoods, they going like, hey, that guy, yeah, he's giving a discount. I think I am going to give him a call. Boom. So they give me a call. Now, I'm sending out stuff to random spots maybe I'm not even in. And that's why they ain't calling me, along with the fact that it's in it's on top of the doggone light bill or gas bill that's too doggone high. And they like throwing all, I don't want none of this stuff. And throwing it all out, you know. So it's not looking good over here, fam, with the every door direct mailers. Thumbs down. Thumbs down, man. So, but like I said, it might be, might be the bum diggity in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, sometime around May, June, I might get a slew of calls. And all of them saying, yeah, I got your flyer. And you had this. And I'm like, uh, yeah, but it's expired, though. Because <laughs> I got, you know, I got a call to action on this bad boy. You want this? You need to hear up. Call me. You know, they say you're supposed to put a call to action on this mug. So I did. So me help you guys out who new to this right here. And you've been watching my channel. First off, like and subscribe for your boy. I'm trying to get 3,000 uh, subs. 3,000. I need 3,000. Can I get three this this year? Now, with that being said, for my people who just getting out here, I'm telling you, it's, a, it's enough money. Because I can't cut all this grass by myself. It's enough money out here. It really is. Believe it or not, it is. Um, and please... Do not hesitate to get into this game. One of the things I want you to understand, though, be professional, be prepared to say no. And the reason why I say that is because right now it's at a place where you got all this competition in the beginning of the year. Everybody's like, I'll take your customer. I'll, I'll do this and I'll do that. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I think my price is a little bit too high and I had to come down. Yeah, I was too high, and I came down a little bit. And it's amazing what people will do for you if they can save $5. It's amazing. So sometimes I give $5 off first five cuts. You know, you have to do that sometimes. The same way HBO and the rest of the cable company and DirecTV trying to just get you in. Now, don't lose your shirt over this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't work for free. But understand your system. So... I know I was talking about flyers and every door direct mailers. This all coincide. I'm going to tell you how it all coincide. It all coincide because of the fact that this right here is supposed to make you money. It's supposed to get the customers in. And a lot of times we spend money to make money. And sometimes some of the ways, best ways of making money is simply I don't even know where I'm getting at. 
Hold on. Let me regroup. Yeah. It's simply to do the work. So that's what I did. Every door direct mailer, I did the work. And right now, it, it ain't panning out, fam. It is not panning out. So here's my takeaways. Takeaway number one. If you're going to do every door direct mailer, do it at your own risk because it is some risk involved. Takeaway number two, if you really own a business, you're not losing money when you do every door direct mailer. Let me tell you why. Because you are branding yourself. People who do look at it would know that you're a legit business. Takeaway take number three, uh, if you're really, really running a business, and you ain't taking cash <laughs> like most of us, you can write it off. I am writing all 8,000 of this bad boy off. Oh, yes, sir. That coming off, man. That is definitely coming off. Um, and here's another takeaway. Some of the stuff you always already doing that's working, make sure you keep doing that because I almost wasn't going to put out door hangers this year because I just knew this was going to work. So I'm definitely putting out, continuing to put out door hangers, um, putting it on that mailbox. And my last takeaway is that when it comes down to this business, you have to take the lumps and keep pushing. What I mean by that, you got to take the good and the bad and learn from it. So I am learning from this, but do not take this as the gospel truth. Don't take it. This is my experience with every door direct uh, mailers. Hey, I got some people, man, they saying they blew up because of it. But the way I look at it is every door direct mailer is pretty much. Oh, one of the things, let me add. A lot of people who was calling me for the flyers, they was elderly. It was older people who don't get on the Internet, by the way. But here's my takeaway. The elderly will not let you have their credit card. They was like, hell no. Nah. And no, I don't know you like that. You didn't have my credit card. I'll write you a check. I'm like, I'm thinking, write me a check. You know I could do more damage with your check? I get the route number off that mug. I got your doggone bank account off that mug. I can really mess you up with a check versus a credit card. Credit card, they got it right now where people can't even do fraud on that stuff. They calling you every five seconds. If you, hey, was you over here? Was you over there? Was you? What? Um, um, I just want to let you know. Let you know you, you had to charge. So you better off with a credit card. Now, that's what I know. They older people love flyers. This like their newspaper. This they matter of fact. This their internet. This their internet right here. So. That's what I'm saying. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Hope you can appreciate uh, what I'm saying about the Every Door Direct Mailers. And also, I'm telling you, keep putting them door hangers out. Keep putting them out. They work. They work. They work. I'm telling you, work better than, I know I'm repeating myself. I guess $8,000 will make you repeat certain things, wouldn't it? So, fam, like always, hope you learned something. Cut on, Lion Care family, cut on. I'm cutting out. Peace.